This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. We hope to have some new videos somewhat soon, but I just wanted to make a few comments today on February 7th, Tuesday, 2012. In the news was this story about how Obama is going to force the, quote, Catholic health insurance providers to cover contraception. And of course, Nancy Pelosi, who claims to be Catholic, came out publicly and stated that this is, quote, very courageous and a good decision. There are almost no words to describe how evil this lady Nancy Pelosi is. Everything wicked, everything heretical, she promotes, and she does so under the name of Catholicism, and every righteous condemnation that can be thrown at her also applies to anti-pope Benedict XVI and his apostate bishops because they haven't excommunicated her. They could do so. Everything that she does to spit in the face of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Catholic Church, they are accomplices to because they don't stop it. So I just wanted to comment about how wicked this woman is. She is just a human demon. That's basically what she is. Something else that I wanted to briefly comment about is the fact that we allow ratings for many of our YouTube videos. Just because a video has more positive ratings than negative ratings does not necessarily mean it's a good video. But consider those who give negative ratings to our videos. For example, the video The Michael Voris Deception. The Michael Voris Deception is an extremely detailed expose of that particular heretic. It contains all kinds of facts. It refutes and exposes his false statements, his lies, his heresies. It's irrefutable. Nevertheless, these people, because they don't care about the truth, they will just give it a thumbs down rating. And a lot of people obviously like the video. And it has almost 6,000 views. But with regard to the people who give it a thumbs down rating, and therefore dismiss all of the facts in the video which prove the point, they don't care about the truth at all. That's why they're stuck in the darkness of the Novus Ordo. They're not honest people. The facts don't matter to them. The only thing that matters to them is defending the Vatican II Church and following their false shepherds. An even better example of this point probably comes from the two videos that we posted on John Carapi. We had the original video called Father John Carapi Exposed, and then the second video called The Truth About, quote, Father John Carapi, you heard it here first. The second video, in addition to the facts that are in there, was published after Carapi had been found guilty of all kinds of horrible sins by his own order. The information demonstrating that his own order found him guilty was readily available. It was also mentioned in the video. Nevertheless, it doesn't stop these blind sheep. They're just going to give it a negative rating, defend the guy who was found guilty by his own order, and who was also proven to be a heretic by the facts in the video. In fact, Karapi didn't even deny the main accusations against him. It doesn't matter. They will defend him anyway, even when he doesn't defend himself. They are sheep headed for the eternal slaughter because they love the lie. They thirst for the lie, and that's why God gives them up to the lie. Another example, even though it has more positive ratings than negative ratings, is the Patrick Madrid's jaw-dropping heresy video. How could any so-called Catholic give that a negative rating? The video proves that Madrid says that a viciously anti-Catholic Protestant who denies basically every major dogma of the Catholic faith is a, quote, member of the body of Christ. How could you possibly defend that heresy? It is absolute proof that Madrid is a modernist heretic. The video also refutes his argument in defense of Vatican II's teaching on religious liberty. It shows that Madrid didn't have any idea what he was talking about on the issue whatsoever. And yet, almost certainly, there were numerous false Catholics who gave it a negative rating. Because truth doesn't matter at all to these people. And that's why they will get their portion in the eternal lake of fire, where all liars go. 
As Apocalypse 21.8 says, Something else I wanted to mention concerns the Inca Empire. And there are a lot more facts that are interesting to note about the Incas besides those that were covered in the recent video. But one in particular that's noteworthy is the fact that among the Incas, the snake was a symbol of knowledge and learning. I find that very interesting because in the book of Genesis, the fall of Adam and Eve was brought about by the serpent, the snake, by promising Eve knowledge. The serpent was successful in getting Eve to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which God had forbidden. Therefore, the serpent tempted and was successful in tempting Eve to a false knowledge. In God's revelation, therefore, the serpent is synonymous with false knowledge. The serpent leads people to false knowledge. It would make sense, therefore, that a pagan culture that is in bondage to the serpent, which does not possess true knowledge of God, but a false knowledge, such as the Inca Empire, would hold up the serpent as the exemplar of knowledge, because the serpent led them down the path to false knowledge, that is, false worship and the worship of idols and false gods. It would make sense, then, that in a culture over which the serpent has dominion, he would make himself the symbol of knowledge. One other thing I wanted to mention on this update is Brother Michael recommended that I watch a DVD called A Noble Lie, which exposes the Oklahoma City bombing, the 1995 event that killed hundreds of people in Oklahoma City. It's extremely interesting. It provides overwhelming evidence that the event was an inside job. For example, the video points out that none of the ATF agents were killed. That's just amazing, isn't it? Somehow they all escaped unharmed. The reason is that they had prior knowledge of the bombing. The video covers many facts and quite a bit of information documenting prior knowledge on the part of government agencies. Not only prior knowledge, but involvement. There's as much evidence to prove that Oklahoma City was an inside job as there is to prove that the JFK assassination was a conspiracy and that 9-11 was an inside job. Despite the overwhelming evidence that's provided in this DVD, there probably hasn't even been one full minute of fair mainstream media news coverage to the real facts about the Oklahoma City bombing. Probably not even one minute worth. That shows you how controlled the media is. Hence, if you have the interest, we recommend that people obtain and watch that video. It's called A Noble Lie. So, that's all for this update.